performances against uh, Argentina and New Zealand. How useful is it that the third team Scotland face is Tonga, given what happened two years ago? Well, you know, the Tonga game two years ago was extremely hurtful from a Scottish perspective. It was a disappointing day for, for us. We let the, the, the jersey down that day, we, we let the fans down, we let each other down. So. But we have moved on from that, we're a, I would say we're a different team now and, and this is a game where I'm looking forward to and I know the boys are as well. And it's always in the back of your mind that, um, you know, and, and we're desperate to, to right that wrong f from that day. But it will be a tough game, uh, the Tonga have improved since then, yeah, they, they had a good uh, World Cup in, in 2011 um, and stuff like that along the way and, and they've got some good players in their ranks so we're not taking them lightly again, um, but we are in a good place. I, I we're delighted with, you know, well, we're certainly delighted with Argentina performance, and, uh, and we're delighted for large parts of the New Zealand performance. A couple of, a couple of little tries we let in there, we were a little bit disappointed about. And, but we're as a Scotland squad, uh, we just need to get back on the horse. Uh, we've trained well again this week, and it's important that we take that confidence uh, into this weekend. I guess it's also the fact that you'd be wanting to back these. Two games up, you, you'd be wanting to, to show the consistency, but you'd be wanting to say, look, you know, we can we can rise up to the challenge of the big teams, but we also have to show hopefully a dominance in other games. Absolutely, it's a huge point, Jim, and it's it's a point uh, that Vern was keen to hammer home uh, to the boys this morning. I think when you look at sort of Scotland historically, uh, the national team, it's it's been a bit of sort of roller coaster stuff, you know, ups and downs and, and this and that. And, and you're right, it's these games, we, we tend to be able to get up for, for the big games and it's these they, these games kind of on the periphery that we kind of let ourselves down a little bit. So I'm really looking forward to the squad um, as a collective to push on this weekend and, and put in another huge performance uh, to make sure we get that win. And, you know, just really put pride in the jersey, pride in your own performance and, and get out there and play for each other and, and play, for, play for Scotland, you know. And, I think if we do that and bring the same intensity, I believe that'll be enough uh, to, get, to give us a good victory. Yeah. Well, I, w I sat on the bench for the whole game against Tonga the last time, so I am actually itching to hopefully be involved and uh, get some game time. So, no, it's just um, it's, it's the last time they beat us, and they deserve to beat us. We, were, we weren't in we weren't in our game the last time, so um, yeah, we've been working hard this week and um, working hard in different positions in the park, and um, obviously. We're scrumming my line outs too, so uh, no, it's it's just um, about doing things right and topping things up. Um, I thought we'd done well against Argentina and then uh, well against New Zealand again, which we were quite shocked, we were quite uh, disappointed with the <coughs> the, the kind of the result. But um, yeah, it's going to be a big game this weekend again, um, and again it's going to be down in Kilmarnock, uh, Ayrshire, my area, my. So that will be absolutely great to play down there against them. How exhilarating, exhausting. Uh, difficult is it to play the kind of brand of rugby you're playing at the moment? Um, well, I think a mixture of all of those. Not difficult, but it's uh, you know we're trying to play a fast tempo of rugby, and um, as Vernes comes in, he's trying to kind of gear everything up. And uh, no, it's just um, it's just about doing it in training and kind of feeding it into the game, and hopefully it's paying off. And as the the two kind of games we've played, I think it has been doing. It's just uh, we just need to sharpen up, and I think the boys are fit, and um, the um, strength and conditioning um, staff have been doing absolutely fantastic with us. So um, it's basically with the clubs too. It's feeding through to the feeding through to the Scotland team.